What's up guys, Cortelia back with another video. And I picked up a new camera. It's the Canonet QL17. Um, I got it for 30 bucks, it was a steal. And um, let's see what it can do. Some grass shots like you could get low that's what i'm saying like i can't even see my freaking thing but like just hope for the best yeah it's really nice up here though like it feels good oh it's awesome like i thought it'd be kind of cold no. it's windy but what do you expect it, but it's not like cold it's not like a bad windy for sure I got a meter with my phone. Yeah. That one bending tree back there is No, the one way back here. So satisfying. I, I love flip flip. shutters. It's so much quieter than an SLR. It's really cool. Oh, this guy. You see the one back there? You want to pose with him? Yeah. <laughs> my, my whole reaction to that sentence was... Yeah. 12 out of 36. That's how much you've taken? Yeah. It's not bad. It's kind of crazy to think that you kind of have a lot of pictures when you're sitting there thinking about them. Whereas... You know, if you're shooting digital, you kind of just spray and It's brave. basically a 36 gig card, but each gig is one photo. So what are your thoughts on this location? It's interesting. It's not finished, clearly. I mean, there's a Christmas tree being built over there. It's a big tree. Sure. This is a tall boy. And I feel like the timing, like us being here right now. Isn't I'm sure that good. I look cool with all this. There's probably oh, yeah, a you look so cool. I look, I look cool. <laughs> I mean, I like the location. If they had stuff like on the ground too, if they start putting stuff on the, it's just that this sidewalk leads to nowhere. Um, first impressions on the Canonet, it's really fun. Um, I have to slow down a lot more. With my FG, I have the split prism, so it's really easy and quick to focus. This, I'm not used to a rangefinder, but it's pretty fun. I'm enjoying it so far. So the QL17, um, I had gotten this camera for 30 bucks came with the Canon light flash, a bunch of paperwork, and the camera itself. Um, I didn't really know what I was getting into, and so I sort of bought the camera blindly. Now, if you've bought and filmed cameras before, um, I'm sure you're well aware that it is very easy to be misled and or get scammed on buying a film camera. So I always recommend buying your camera in person. I understand it's not always easy to do that, but when you can, you should always physically go and look at the camera and buy it. When I bought my camera, I had no idea if the leaf shutter worked, if it was accurate. I didn't know if the rangefinder was calibrated with the lens. So I just threw in a roll of expired gold 200 and shot away. As you can see, the pictures came out amazing. The rangefinder is calibrated with the lens, so I don't have to worry about getting it CLA'd. One issue I did have at first is 
I was not able to get a replacement battery for this thing. Um, if you have a QL17, I'm sure you know, the Mercury batteries you cannot get in the United States. They are now illegal. So you usually have to go with a zinc air battery, which honestly isn't even as good. The light meter does read a little hot when you're using these batteries. So you have to compensate by setting a lower ISO value. So for example, right now I have Portra 160 in here, but I meter it at 100 on this camera. Um, I've tested it with my phone and my A6300 and it does read accurately now. Even though I got the replacement battery at first, it didn't work. So I did have to sand my battery terminals by folding up a piece of sandpaper and like going crazy in there. And then I also cleaned it up with some rubbing alcohol and that made the battery work. So if I hit check, the light, the light comes on. When I was using the camera at first, I was not used to, you know, using the rangefinder and matching the images up with the ghost patch. Um, but over time, it's really easy to get used to. It's really intuitive. All you do, just look, match the lines up, and boom. This camera is really popular in the film community. Um, it's one of the best known compact 35 rangefinders. It's up there with the Yashica Electro 35, you know, cameras like that. The lens, I really enjoy the lens on this camera. It has a distinctive look. Um, of course it has a distinctive look. This is the only camera with this lens, but I think the images came out great. Bokeh, fine. Distortion, yeah, there's distortion, but whatever. Don't expect crystal clear sharpness from this lens. This is my new everyday film camera as my FG20 has a saggy shutter. So in the top of the images, it's dark and I've tested it, I've put it on a bulb and I've seen the mirror pop up and then it drops down and it sags, blocking the film plane. Um, really unfortunate, but it is what it is. I can take it and get fixed, but I have this, so I'm not too worried about it. My first impressions with this camera is that I got it for an amazing deal. Um, this camera is super great. It's my new everyday camera and I would highly recommend it to any of you guys watching. I'm Griselia and as always, great magic.